Do you uh, have a type in a guy? Um, like physically? Yeah, physically. I have a very specific and pers- physical type. Personality too. Go ahead. What is um, it? Um, you have to have a kind of similar personality to me. You can't be immature. You have to be mm-hmm. mature, but also funny. I, you have to be funny. Mm-hmm. Funny. Um, okay. My physical type is extremely specific. <laughs> Like, you have to be at least 6'2", you have to be tan, you have to have tattoos, you have to have blue eyes, brown hair, literally, <laughs> and you have to smell good. All right. Like okay. I said, I will happily die. Can you pause on her for a second? Just leave it on her. Does this look like, I, I mean, listen, she's not an unattractive girl. I'm not going to say that. But does this, does she, I don't know, is that a 10 to you? Is that somebody who should be making demands like this? Okay, hold that image, Dally. I'm going to pull that back up in a second. You can go off if you want, but I'm going to I'm going to bring her back in a second. So here's what she said: She wants someone who's mature. She wants someone who's funny. A minimum of six two. I don't know. She's some type of giant. She's some type of giant. I don't understand these women. By the way, I'm little, right? I'm like sort of like a half human. And I don't. I always wanted a guy who was taller than me, but I didn't need all that. Like going, I it found it's like hard to reach. Honestly, I found it to be challenging. I'm, what is going on up there? Like you know, Jack and the Beanstalk type of stuff. But are these girls like six one? Is that why she's saying six two? She does look a little long, lengthy, shall we say? But I mean, some of these girls are unbelievable. Six two. It's like. Almost no guys, by the way, are at least 6'2". The percentage of guys, I don't know what the percentage is on 6'2 and up, but it's really, really small. Has to be tan. Okay. So all fair-haired people, fair scale, you're out. Has to have tattoos. Has to have blue eyes. Green, unacceptable. Has to have brown hair. I mean, what is it's like five guys left. There's like five guys left. Funny, humorous, all this. Okay. What would, how would she feel? Let's bring her image back up, please. How would she feel if a guy came in and said, I, gu- I will guarantee if a guy came in and said, oh, I need somebody who's, you know, guys tend to like little something. I mean, it's true. I need somebody who's around 5'5". Five five. I want somebody who's tan. I want somebody who has, you know, X, Y, and Z. And she didn't fit the bill. I guarantee you this is exactly the type of woman that would be like, you're so misogynistic and superficial. I'll guarantee it. Maybe not. Correct me if I'm wrong if she's listening. By the way, I should get some of these girls on the show. Wouldn't that be fun to just like ha- to have these conversations live? Fly them in. <laughs> God. But interesting, right? Like the, the specifications are now so unbelievably narrow that this is exactly the type of woman, by the way, that has all these specifics at 22. She's going to lands at 30 and she looks but She's starting to get lonely, right? Now she's starting to feel like, oh, maybe I don't need him to have a separate house. I'm feeling kind of lonely. Maybe I could share my bedroom after all starting to you know look in the mirror and she's like hmm, what's that? is that a, a crow's feet line oh my god i look old rush into like scrub you know whatever exfoliate this that the panic sets in and all of a sudden she looks back on her life and says wow when i was 22 i, I was saying all this i maybe i could have met a, a nice guy and yeah you know what honey maybe he would have been six feet not six two and maybe he had green eyes instead of brown instead of blue i'm sorry maybe his hair was you know Auburn color, whatever it was, maybe he didn't fit your exact bill, but you aren't even open to him. These are the types of women that wind up alone, miserable, mad, irritated, and on antidepressants. All the other girls are just laughing at her too. Yeah, because it's it, because, and you know what the thing is here. Let's, and that's a good point, Deli. Some of this, I think, is character. They go on this show and they feel like the more they amp it up, like, oh, I'm going to create a viral moment. Now, that Bangs girl, you you all remember her? That was real. I think that's just who she was. She was having a real lived in moment. I think some of these girls are trying to make a moment happen. They're trying to, you know, too hard. So other girls are just like, dude, that's just stupid. Um, so it's hard to tell. I, that could be an, some of it could be an act. But regardless, even if it is an act, she's, that's what she's putting out there, thinking that she's going to get more attention, more money in her little, you know, I don't know if she's only fans, but, you know, a lot of them are in her bank more, you know, sliding into the DMs. She's going to that her this behavior is going to attract more guys. The sad thing is some of them are right because it does. Right. They're not going to stop doing this if they're still attracting more guys. If you like the short clip and want to watch the full episode, click here. And if you want to connect with me one on one on Manect, you're going to click right here. Let's get to talking.